Hello, this is uh, your internet pal and source for all your latest uh, movie news and mole-related news, uh, The El Topo. And for you at home, that's redundant, that's the, and then Spanish, the, uh, anyway. Uh, it's about 3.15 in the morning, I just got back home from Watchmen. And uh, first and foremost, I'm going to have to say that this review probably won't be funny because I have to say that Watchmen... Uh, I thought it was excellent. Um, for a movie that is something I thought would be completely unfilmable, um, it really surprised me. Uh, quite a good movie in my opinion. Uh, for those of you familiar with the source material, there is a, a change to the ending. It's, it's pretty major, I would say, but I think once you see the movie, without giving anything away, I think once you see the movie, the ending makes sense with what they used in the story. Um, and the end result of the film, the, the message of the story is still the same. Um, but I gotta say, as a regular like movie review, I just can't do it. Um, I'm too, I'm too like um, absorbed in the source material. Uh, I love the comic. It's, it's one of my all time favorites. Um, and viewing it, I mean, I'm just comparing it to the graphic novel. So. A comic book. I hate that term, graphic novel. I get sucked into it because of the fucking commercials. But um, so for me, I I I I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. I mean, it, it was it was literally a visual interpretation of the comic book. Um, the only movie I could say that's even even rem closer to being you know panel for panel with uh, the comic would be Sin City, uh, which was exactly panel for panel for panel. Sorry, it's late. I'm very tired. Um, this movie is essentially panel. Panel. I have a hard time saying the word panel now. Anyway, this this film's essentially that, except that uh, Snyder adds adds a little bit extra to each thing. Um, you know, Watchmen wasn't real big on showing you the details, and you know what Snyder does is makes it make it. <laughs> I'm all tongue tied today. He makes it a little bit more, I mean, for for lack of an obvious statement, he makes it more cinematic, you know. Whereas in, in Watchmen you had a, f a few pa pages of uh, a fight and a prison breakout, you know, that turns into a big fight sequence. But in my opinion, it never gets tacked on to the point where it feels like it's too much. Um, there are some things that, that got cut out that I guess will be in the ultimate edition of the movie that's coming out later this year. Um, the one problem is a lot of the stuff that got cut out w was about Ozymandias' character, so I think maybe people that aren't familiar with the, the comic might feel that his character is kind of undeveloped. Um, but I, I don't know, they cut out a lot of him, but everything else, I mean, they, they, left, they left most of the important parts intact. I, I just, I, uh, again, I'm really excited about the movie. It's definitely something I'm probably going to see again, um, probably this weekend. I, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's it's tough to have something that's this hyped uh, for this long. I mean, Christ, I remember getting excited about this when they spliced in a, a picture of Rorschach during the 300 trailer, what, three years ago. I mean, this is just, it, it, it's really good. It, it lived up to the hype, in my opinion. Uh, I thought it was brilliant. Um, Snyder is... A pretty, he's getting to be a better director. He still uses the slow mo stuff a little bit too much, but it works. It works in in this movie. He doesn't do it to a point where it gets annoying. Um, he definitely uh, loves the sex scenes. <laughs> There's a sex scene between Night Owl and uh, and Silk Spectre 2, which you know I'm not complaining about because uh, the broad that plays Silk Spectre 2, Achi Mama. Um, it it got it's it's a little much, but I mean whatever it's R rated, so you might as well go for the gusto. But um, I mean I, I really enjoyed it a lot. I think that given given what they had to do to make this movie, you know, to to, to make it right, they did what they 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 followed their word. Um, for you comic book nerds out there, this isn't like what Marvel said the Ultimates cartoon was going to be. You know, when they said it was going to be like the comic. This is, is pretty much exactly what Snyder's been saying the whole time. This is, this is like the comic, um, except there's no squid. Um, and honestly, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Um, I, I, again, this, uh, this is kind of all over the place, but 
very excited. Uh, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, and like I said, I don't feel that I could actually give you a fair review of the film because I don't know, I can't tell you what a person that never saw Watchmen, I don't know if they're going to like it or not. Honestly, um, as I was leaving the theater, I heard, I heard people, you know, saying they liked it. And then I heard this one lady say there wasn't enough action. And I guess she wanted to see, like, Tango and Cash, too, because there was just, like, all, all, I would say almost nonstop action at points in the film. So, again, um, unlike a lot of reviews that I've read that either criticized it or praised it because of the, the fact that it's, it's a lot like the graphic novel, and they didn't, they, they still claim to make a fair movie review. I will not make any such claim. I uh, am completely biased. I love the source material. And this movie followed it so closely that I love the film. Um, so, is it a good movie? I think so, but again, it's hard for me to separate between the two. So, I'm going to go to bed because it's really fucking late. And um, I'm sorry, this is probably my most inane review so far. But hopefully I will make one as inane or more inane in the coming weeks. So you guys have a good night. Enjoy Watchmen. And, um, you know, drink a beer. Good night, kids.